Hello, I'm making a really simple down and dirty video for the new NR Magic exhaust that I bought for my Yamaha C3. I bought it because the exhaust on this stock is very restrictive. It has a catalytic converter and it weighs about a good 9 or 10 pounds. So I want to get something a little more lightweight and something a little breathe a little bit better. Because it's stock, I notice it has a really small opening. Just about as big as the stock one, but internally, you don't have all those baffles like you do. And you certainly don't have that catalytic converter. Plus it weighs about maybe half of what the stock exhaust weighs. So, you know, these little 50cc bikes, they're real peppy, fuel injected, water cooled. I did a few mods. I got the Dr. Pulley variators, well sliders that go into the the variator in the rear. These are the ones I got. I got the five grams. They come stock with six gram, but I bought them five grams. I heard good things about them. And in all honesty, it's freaking unbelievable the difference that just this made. Along with this, I took the stock air filter and I pried the back piece of it. And I took that mesh out. Um, so between those things, I felt a nice difference. But I knew that I could get a little bit more pep with the exhaust. So I saw this guy with a Honda Ruckus, and he had the same exact exhaust I bought. And I liked the way it sounded. So I said, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and buy it. It took about two and a half weeks to get here. Um, but what I want to tell everybody is there's some things you have to do in order for the exhaust to actually make any power. If you slap on the exhaust, you're going to lose power. And that's just the nature of the beast. I was always brought up, you know, I have a few other bikes as well. I have an XT225 that's jetted, and then I have my FZ1 Power Commander 5 and a few other mods. And my daughter's little TTR50. Um, if you want more air to get out, you have to let more air get in. So, what I did is I took the little snorkel out that goes on to the left side, right over yonder, and goes in here, a little snorkel thing. So I popped that joker out. And, that's the new key. What I did, I just took it out. I tried taking it out with a stack exhaust and I lost a lot of power. It would just go blah and bog down. So I said, you know what? If I have more air going out, I might want to let more air go in. And holy moly, what a difference. If you do not do this small modification and take the snorkel out while replacing the exhaust, you just spent 115 bucks. But if you do, the difference is astronomical. In a little part of the road in my house, I'd be able to go up maybe 20, between 28 and 31 miles per hour depending on the wind. Now, that same hill, I'm doing 36. It's ridiculous, it's uphill. I've never hit over 33 miles per hour, and I just hit 36. Also, on the same stretch, I was able to go 38, and now I'm hitting 42. So it's a really big difference. Acceleration, you lose a little bit on, on the initial takeoff, but once you hit 10 miles per hour, it just it just keeps on going. It's a really big difference. Plus, the, so the sound isn't very... It's not as loud as I thought it was going to be. But I guess that's a good thing. Because once you open up the air intake with that snorkel... I got to kick start it. The battery's wimpy. Um, it actually sounds pretty decent. A little bit louder, not too loud. When you're riding, it sounds just about the same, a little more peppy. And that's it right there. Fit and finish is unbelievably great. Of course, these things are made in Japan. So, you know, the craftsmanship is really good. Although this is one of the cheapest exhausts you can get for a Yamaha Jag or, or a little Vino 50cc, because they all fit. But the way this little thing sounds is just, it sounds nice, a little more throatier, and the top end is just really big difference. Also what I did is I got a Prodigy, I I focus. Prodigy uh, performance shock, and that thing really gives you a lot better maneuverability 
I weigh about 185 pounds. And before, I would bottom out everywhere. Like literally, I just bottom out everywhere and it was pretty uncomfortable. And I felt sorry for the poor guy. So I went on eBay and I ordered this, ex this uh, suspension and I can't be happier. 67 bucks. And it works like a charm. I mean, I can compare it to the stock one. I got the stock one right here. I mean, if you just look at this, you look at the pressurized tube or whatever the whatever you want to call it, oil, nitrogen, whatever, and you just compare it to this one, and it's night and day. I mean, you could even see the springs are much thicker. It's just a better overall unit. Plus, it has preload. This thing is, has nothing. Yamaha says if you weigh over 187 pounds, you shouldn't need me riding this thing. So yeah, with this shock, indeed. But with that aftermarket shock, it made a really big difference. A lot better. So there it is. Uh, I'm not gonna go for a ride because I don't have a GoPro, I'm using my cell phone. But I will tell you this, if you order an exhaust, any exhaust, for the C3, the Jog, the Vino, or you know, this is the Vox in Japan or wherever, you really need to take that intake snorkel out. Once you do that, it's a whole different bike. Thanks for watching.